and hopefully you never see this all right. But if it's not, then tell me and I try to fix stuff. What I tested it, but I think everything should be alright. So I today I'm playing not me. And last time I wanted to go safe and I got caught into a, like a mini hospital. What was I going to say? No, I'm leaving now. So now we have to fight the hospital right away. I think I have to put the input again. Okay. What happened here? Why do you use everything? Okay, let's clear everything here. Hello Panda, sorry I have to set the buttons again because they kinda got set up wrong. Okay. So Panda, is everything alright? Uh, can you see everything? Can you hear my voice? Then we have to get the desktop audio down and my microphone up. Okay, is it better now? Smoke bomb on the kernel. Boney, do you have some goods left? One super bomb. Oh well, this was a lot of damage. The pit mass major did the bum wash. The game is too quiet, then let's set it up. Okay. I have the game audio now louder. Another bum wash. Ouch. Oh, come on. Stop hurting Lucas. Now it's fine. Thank you for helping me with this because it's a little hard for finding out how everything should be, what's too loud, and what's too what's too quiet. Okay, I think Lucas should now heal himself with a life up gamma. Gamma Turbo is using another PK fire gamma and you attack. You attack one of the majors as well as Tony. First one surrendered. The class major took damage from the flames. Oh, what a cute emoji. Also, I set up the chat with a new program. So I hope it's uh, showing on screen like it should. Okay, nice, this guy has a shield. Oh, and everything is gone. Yeah, chat looks stupid and I watched a video of someone who told me how to use uh, a browser thingy that you can set up with OBS and I was following this guide and also really good guide and I think the chat actually looks better now. Level up for Duster. Yes, I have. Wait. It was Masked Man. Stuff is happening. Oh well, Lucas, who normally never talks, had some remarkable silence, as well as a masked man. I mean, you probably all already have seen who yet who the masked man is. Lucas' friendly badge reflected the masked man's lightning right back at him. Why 
by it again. Oh. What another battle we haven't even recovered from the other one. Let me recover first. Uh, okay. Let's go with the fence down. Rasta is going with the scabby mask and you are going to sniff. No one sniffed the mask, man. But he didn't smell anything. That's strange. Mask of Man's offense decreased by 33. And by 16. Okay, he does his heal himself. Mask of Man fired a beam. And swung his sword. Wow, why are you only hurting Lucas? He don't like this at all. Okay, let's set up this defense up. And you will just try this. Oh, we have PK Freeze Omega now. Let's try this. Let's see how strong it is. You're using a tickle stick. You are it. Oh, he has a shield. This was strong. All the very expensive. I think Lucas has to heal himself again. Okay. I got better. I wanna try because I think this guy has PP, so let's use a speed magnet. Let's try the smoke bomb. Pretty sure that Lucas will probably not be able to hurt the masked man, so he's doing uh, support only. I will try to get Chris. Okay, Duster, you will try to break the shield together with Tony. Yeah, shield is broken. Ha, he got so little fight. He can't move. You are healing Duster. Doing another PK freeze. You kick and you bite. Don't really get the rhythm of this battle. So I have to say, I don't remember a lot after this point of the game, like what actually happened and stuff. I remember bits and pieces and the ending, but not what led to it, so it could be that it feels a little bit more blind than usual, <laughs> because I only played the game once and I have so bad memory that I often don't really remember anything. up. Wow, well, this was a smash. Into the unknown. Yeah, too much. Although with my new PC, I actually hope that the stream might look better, so maybe I can get uh, a little bit of better of quality. What's this PK flush? I think we were really lucky. Oh my god, he's using that. Maybe I should put a spy shield on as well. Spy shield omega. Okay. Let's see who needs healing. I think Motorola should heal herself. Just like an eat something. Oh, he is almost dead. Let's double charge for him. 
Oh my god, Lucas is also almost dead. He doesn't use another spy manga. Oh, for memory gang, yes. It's nice though, if I didn't play a game or didn't read a book for some time. I forgot so many things, it's almost like I never used it before. He has a shield killer! Then it doesn't make sense to shield. Ouch, 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 ouch. Oh, how are we on Lucas? From beta. Kick and you pony, you have to heal yourself again. This battle has become difficult. Not, not again. Oh, only Alpha. Okay, Lucas, you are helping with healing. I drop it down faster. Motoba, you are taking again. Buster, you are using some of your guts. And only. You are tired. Another one. At least that this time it's Lucas. Okay, a better on Komotoa. Komotoa is using. No, oh, she doesn't have much PP anymore. I wasn't expecting this fight at all. <laughs> oh, I expect normal attacks. Maybe this PP up pretty much. Not there anymore. Hey, Lucas, who can you heal? I need healing so many, so much rolling HP meter here. Spy magnet is pretty much the only thing that we can do. Lucas can't attack, so let's try. Yes, I wanted you to hit Komotoba so I could use Cup of Life Noodles on her. Also, I think Lucas could attack. Master doesn't have PP, so he cannot heal himself. Oh yes, the memento. Let's use. Let's get 
ganz sagen, mal wie used up. Ich hab auch vielleicht nur so komma Tower. Und die Schuhe jetzt auch so filling up sehr pipi. Or maybe not. Okay, now let's save this and then let's go heal. Where was the hot spring again? Or did I rest at the McGipsy's house? It's gute Nacht, you voted a little wrong, but thank you! Hallo und guten Tag! Soll ich dich hier nennen im Deutschen? Ja, wie man tut, weißt du, sei und ja. Also, I also don't remember if I said hi, where we. Oh, Lucas is learning something. have our boss battles out of the way, so let's see if the needle is right in front of us or if we have to fight to a dungeon. <laughs> yeah, did you notice? I did a new one. Because I got a new PC and had to set everything uh, new up and I didn't remember how Streamlabs worked, so... I looked up a guide how to do a Twitch chat overlay and found a really nice YouTube video that explained it to me and I'm using it now. These wines are frozen in time. Sprinkle your waters of time on them. Yes. Please tell me if the Twitch chat isn't uh, good to read, uh, if I should use another color or another font. Flowers blooming. It's kind of nice. It's easier to read where we could. Oh, time started flowing again for the wines. Lucas, let's go inside. I thought so, but this is always a problem. You never know which kind of background you have. So what color is the best? If you use black, then you can't read it in black backgrounds. If you use white on white backgrounds, it will be hard. If you use green, it won't be good to read on grass and stuff. Maybe instead of making it completely transparent, I should do a little background. I'm thinking about it. What are you learning? Spike counter, omega. Nice. Even though I haven't used spike counter a lot. Oh, there's a needle. I was thinking it because we had two boss battles back to back. I will experiment a bit with the chat uh, until the next Mother's Tree stream and then you can say what works and what isn't working. Thank you for your feedback. It was our Megipsy ancestors who sealed away the Dark Dragon. Megipsies have guarded the Seven Needles for many generations since. Uh, I thought they were immortal, like why are their ancestors? Maybe they are not immortal? But the needles will be pulled when the time comes. Maybe your font was outlined edge over a white font but with black edge, then I would have to see if the 
set up that I use has a font like that. And that time is now. The heart of the person who pulls the needles will be passed on to the dark dragon. And then something big will happen. Something big enough to recreate the entire world. Lucas, I want you to be the one who awakens the dark dragon. To accomplish this, you can't lose or give in, no matter what. 50-50 transport OK background. Yes, it's that actually think this probably works. I have to look into this. Duster. Bonnie. And Princess Kumatora. Without heartfelt help from you, his friends, he cannot accomplish this task. Princess Kumatora. This spy is so dangerous that I never intended to teach it to you. But I'm going to teach it to you right here, right now. Master, this dangerous spy technique so that you can help Lucas. Are you prepared? She is prepared. Ooh, this is really cool. Something awoke inside Kumatawa. Kumatawa realized the power of PK Starstorm. Oh, Starstorm. Nice. Which has a powerful attack against all enemies. Thanks for the pickles earlier. The dog rule was a bit disconcerting, so. <laughs> Lucas, I'm going to help you from here on out, no matter what happens. I made up my mind just now. Our best friend. That masked man, was he? Oh well, it doesn't matter. Pull the needle. Yes. Goodbye, Ionia. That was a sixth of seven needles. Something awoke inside Lucas. Lucas realized the power of PK Manga Omega. We are getting all the late game spells. As I start to disappear, my heart senses an intense disturbance. Locria, the final missing Megipsy, is rapidly nearing the seventh needle. That's what I am sensing. It's coming from that direction, from a lovely, filthy place. Oh, just when I'm about to tell where it is. Ah! I'm sorry, I am disappearing now. Before I go, here are final mementos of me, a razor and lipstick. Remember me sometimes, okay? Ionia, how could we ever forget you? Your inventory is full at a time like this? Shh, you are such a big dummy. Oh well, too bad, forget I was about to give you anything. You dumb silly goose. The other ones still have room. It's too bad I didn't get to see how everything turns out, but... Lucas, honey, little bony, adorable duster, and Princess Kumatoa. Whatever happens, make sure you get to see what the final fate of the world is. Oh, look, we are sniffing the seventh needle. Kumatoa looks sad. Something's happening. Hop! Hello, I'm a frog. Shall I record everything that has happened so far? Yes, oh, we are done with uh, chapter 7. Did we already play this game for 22 hours already? Okay, I did some off-screen farming, but yeah, still a lot. <laughs> what? 
I'm really big limousine. Master Lucas, yes, our great leader and new king of the entire world, Master Porky, cordially invites you to the greatest city in the world, New Pork City. I will take you there on the stretch limousine, so please step inside. Yes, Porky is still alive. I mean, we gave him a pretty hard beating in Earth Pound. Of course, I have to walk all the way around. My husband and myself, we are tell we are saying if someone has to take an unnecessary long way, it's doing a dinner for one. It's based on that sketch uh, that always plays on New Year's Eve in Germany, where the butler always takes a long way around if he serves the food. With mistress and yeah, <laughs> it has become kind of an inside joke. Is this thing about to fly? Yes, it's about to fly. There's a safe walk inside the limousine. <laughs> what do you think? It's much more spicy yes, than it appears on the outside, wouldn't you agree? We'll arrive at New Pork City shortly, so please relax and enjoy yourselves for a while. Yes, yeah, that explains how it got past the cave. Especially how we had to go so uh, such a long way to get there. Well then let's say first. We got from the last walk by the way. Master Lucas, is this your first time to New Pork City? It's quite a different place from Testimony, so I expect you'll find it rather surprising. Ha ha ha! Well then, let's look around. A stage. It looks like you could sing a song from it, but you can't even get on it. Oh, it's a happy box. Grown up drinks are lined up here. It's spicy, bitter, yucky poison, so kids can't drink it. Oh wait, grown ups can't drink it either. Oh, I already saw this. What's this? A tabletop game. It looks like you can play it, but you can't. A nine foot billiard table. The pockets have been designed to be quite large. It looks like you can play it, but you can't. Wow, this place sucks. Can't play anything. A big fluffy sofa. You can relax on it, will you? Uh, yes. <laughs> oh man, <laughs> what are they doing? Are they chilling? What is this feeling? Oh, a hot spring. Well, this limousine is a lot bigger than it looked from the outside, indeed. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. <laughs> oh, no, brings, yeah. A blackjack table? It's not a playable blackjack table, so nothing here is playable. This is one of those famous champagne towers. Actually, upon closer expansion, inspection, it's only a painting. Can't go outside, huh? Nope. Can we relax on the sofa again? Are this the grown up drinks again? Yeah. Can we only relax on these sofas? Also on the other ones. Seems like we can only relax on these sofas. I knew Porky was behind all this talk about growing. Everything's just fake. Yeah. Yes, there it is. Say hello to New Pork City. We mix of porky semen in the museum, actually. Spike Tower. 
So I remember New Pork City, but I don't remember what we actually did inside New Pork City, so... Let's see. But I think we are pretty much in endgame now. I think chapter 8 is the last chapter. Chapter 8, all six. Landing place for the limousine. Really? Why is he letting us out there? Because we stood in the front. Well, we finally arrived. Please watch your step as you exit the car. You haven't forgotten anything, have you? It's one of my nightmares to forget stuff on travel. Sometimes I have nightmares and it's literally just me forgetting important stuff while I travel. Seeing as this is your first time here, I'll give you this map of the city so you don't get lost. What the city map? Well then, Master Lucas, I'm sure I'll see you again soon with a different look. Rosalind seems like the limousine is taking off again. Hi, Mr. Chauffeur, you were really polite to us. Okay, so this is the city. There actually aren't that many buildings in here. Or maybe we just can't enter all these buildings, that is why they are grayed out. I know, man, I know all about you. You are here to destroy New Pork City, aren't you? Maybe never said that. We got from the last four, by the way. I think we also should get some DP. Fill. Maybe we can uh, buy something. Yeah. Oh my god, I have a lot of money. I also have a lot on hand. I think I have enough on hand. Oh my god, this is really so wrong, is he? Welcome, Eidos, to New Pork City. You are free in the city? Master Porky has given you your freedom. But we were free in Tasmuli and Tuppy and... These are fake! Look at this, these aren't even buildings. This is just cardboard on wood and... No wonder they are not on the map. These are really fake. Oh, there's a giant happy box. Okay, one up, please, by all means. I only hang out inside. Everyone else came to the city, so I couldn't just stay back there all alone. I figured there'd be something here for me if I came, but now I don't know, I'm not really sure. Do you feel the same way, Lucas? Like a child playing with toys, yeah. Oh, Lucas, did you follow me here for some of my slightly unclean and not very tasty cookies? Because I don't make those anymore. Have you forgotten? But why? We like cookies. We want to have cookies. Another fork? Not this time. What we got from the last fork? I'm totally owning at this game right now, so don't talk to me, gosh. And don't you dare try to ram into me. Oh. Ah! I told you not to ram into me. Sheesh! Man, this area stinks. No, it's not me, it's this area. Can I interact with the arcade? A pinball game. A mob. No problem, yeah? It's 10 DP per game. Give it a try. Yes. Who's that? Because it's in the link scheme. But more like we can actually play it ourselves. I kind of am stuck here. I think I have to wait until we can stun. 
In one sense, you feel completely satisfied. I don't want to play again. Okay, let's try to play this one. It's like the exact same sound effect. Oh no, it's a little different. Maybe this one is an FPS shooter, the other would like a space shooter. Okay, it's actually you're not a thing in Germany. They straight up made them illegal once. And then when they weren't illegal again, they were so unpopular that nobody opened them up anymore. So it's really rare for someone in Germany to see actually some arcade machines. And I'm sad about this. I want to go into arcades and get rid of my money. In one sense, you feel completely satisfied. Ah, uh, we played enough. Pinball game. Why don't you play the pinball game? Baked jam game. And this one? There's a queen game here. Yeah, it looked like it's playable, but it's not. Fake again. Let's leave the arcade. Is there a circus tent? Oh, hey there, Lucas. I was just talking about old times with Isaac. He's an important guy nowadays, you know. Oh, is he the pig mask? I don't know if everyone is gathering here in the city or if they are being gathered instead. Oh my god, I want to go to Blackpool only to play with arcade games. But if you were here, because that means everyone really is here now. Lucas, you are the dear and charming guest that Master Porky is looking for? Oh, it's me, Isaac. I'm a big shot now. But Lucas, I didn't know you were anyone special. If you do anything to defy Master Porky, then you and me will enemies. Can I get ice cream? Welcome! I know you are from the sticks, but you should buy some of the sophisticated goods that New Pork has to offer. Yes. Hot dog sushi. Yeah, I want one. A hot dog and sushi came here well. This draws 120 HP. Isn't that Porky's brother? Theater. There's another frog here? Why are there frogs everywhere? We got from the last frog. According to my research, stink bugs appear to possess a terrific capacity for memorization. I'd love to study them to find out even more, but they are just so stinky. And I get drinks? There's a slot for money here. Yes, yes, give me. Big city cola. Apparently, there's a kind of stinky smelly bug in the theater. Maybe I should just blow this popsicle stand. There's no admission fee at the theater. We are filming a wonderful adventure movie, personally selected by Master Porky himself. But apparently a stink bug has stuck inside and stunk up's place. I hate having to kill those things. Duck. Oh, welcome. Can I help you find something? What can I get? I bet that is obviously fake. Offense plus 30 is even going down. Fake frying pan. Wet hat. Oh, this is actually better. Ah, but I have to get some place in the inventory. Some room first. Okay. Let's give a double turkey to Pony. Komotoba is giving a pumped pony. Now that's my stuff. What head for Lucas? Okay. Angel woman. What to was getting the angel woman? Okay. Let's start getting nothing. And Bonnie's getting ahead. This was everything, right? Please come again. Oh, Lucas, are you looking for something? Whenever you're not really sure what to do, the Zayat is the best place to go. Yep. Oh, you are here too, Lucas? I guess everyone from Tesmali is here now. Everyone. 
Okay, they talked about the stink bug with the theater, so I'm going to save with the fork because it could be a fight. Let's see. Rumor has it, whenever you guys do something, earthquakes and tremors and stuff happen. What in the world do you guys do? You guys, leaders locked up in an apartment building underground. Huh? You don't know nothing about no leader? I just wanted to say we don't have a leader. But your leader wants to see you. Yeah, I am putting myself at risk to tell you this and you honestly don't know the guy? Yes. I see, so you really don't know about him? I don't know, maybe you're supposed to meet him without knowing who he is or something. He definitely wants to meet you guys, so... This area doesn't stink at all. Stink bugs sink up the place wherever they go. You know, like some seeds, some of them smell bad. Maybe it isn't a stink bug. Wow, that hole in the speaker leaks directly into the sewer system. Absolutely unbelievable. So that's why the theater stinks to high heaven. Yeah, there's a response on screen. It even looks like stink bugs use it to come and go as they please. You're not supposed to watch movies from so close up, it's bad for your eyes. Oh, but let's, let's watch a little bit. There's a response on the screen. Relapses memories. Got the circus tent and master belt. Ah, all the photos. Okay, we learned something about the sewer system. Let's store this information for later. At first glance, the protectionist appears to be an old man, but it's actually a figure made out of clay and dough. It's well crafted. At first glance, it seems like this might be a movie-loving boy named Toto or something, but it's actually just a figure made out of clay and dough holding a bucket. You get the feeling you've seen it somewhere before. Are you the type of person that always has to sneak behind everything? Please don't come in here through the employee entrance. No problem, I mean, nobody stopped me. I will look at the sewers later. First, I want to explore the town. Okay, okay. We already have been here. We haven't talked to this guy. Walk, stop, sleep, shout, you're free to do it all. Empire Porky! Welcome! I heard from Master Porky that you would be coming here. He says you were quite strong, in one way or another. I would say that, yeah. You can go anywhere you want, aside from the hundredth floor of the Empire Porky building. In fact, go have a look around at everything. They say the DCMC are gonna have a concert in the city. I guess in that way this city might not be half bad at all. Boy, Deepwalk City doesn't make any sense. I can't tell if it's kitty like creepy, disgusting, fleshy, or what. Yeah, did you notice something? Why is this a barber shop? Barber shop sign. Blah. I sell dangerous things. You want? Yes! Pencil rocket, bomb, super bomb. Super bomb is really expensive, but I have a lot of. Oh, yes, Eve bomb! Reduce your all enemies HP to 1. Don't rely on them, so it could be a dead air high, stuff like that. And some more bombs. Okay. You buy good things, you have a good eye. Look at the happy boxes. Who's living up here? Apparently, the statue of Master Porky isn't just something to look at at Marvel. More specifically, it's a postly the divine protector of the city. I also hear some moments somewhere picked a fight with it and wound up in a world of hurt. Yes, that is that you can fight. The smartest, bravest and toughest chopster of all time. Here stands the statue for a great leader, Master Porky. 
I went to look at the ground level first. It will just be a trash site or something like this town is a mess. It's just utterly and complete mess. Hmm, are you new? No, I already talked to some. Can we go in here? Probably not. <laughs> because everything is fake here! Apparently, all of the waitresses in the restaurant over there were both built to look like the mother of some really important person. This is a big city life, or is it? It somehow doesn't seem like it. Oh, this is a way of artisticness I see before me. The lioness gushing forth from it, the maskness dripping from it. And this nose hairness and the archaicness. It's so magnificent, it's positively frightening. Donna's a sucker for art. She's been stuck to the spot for good seems forever now. Masts. Oh, more cricket. We may be tiny, but we are still living beings. We get our life as small crickets. I was just talking business with this fellow here. I feel the time has finally ripe for a small cricket to try our luck in the big city, you see? Are you an acquaintance of Jackie's by any chance? Uh, yes, let's see. Yes. Could you ask him if he'd be willing to partner with a small cricket to strike a witch? Oh, hey there, Lucas. I was just talking business with this tiny fellow here. I'm not really sure what I should do, so. What should I do? Maybe. Okay. Go over the answers. Doesn't seem to work. Beauty and tasty. This town's filling up with more and more people, but this shop's still as empty as ever. Oh, I got it broken. Broken! Broken! I am so broken! Clank, clank, sot! Thank you for coming where we have good luck with your studies and your code. Ah uh, yeah, I think it's a dung beetle. There's nothing wrong with being picky. Fill yourself up with your favorite food and nothing else. That's this restaurant's rule. You people don't fit in with this shop. Not to do yourself. King Burger. Packed so full that the buns barely hold it together with 280 HP. Oh my god, this thing is insane. A thick juicy steak with 300 HP. I kinda am reminded of the Metaton steak. Pasta with a past. A pasta of unspeakable circumstances with 190 HP. Okay, I need the pasta with the past because I put pasta as our favorite food. Favorite pizza. A pizza pie for the best and most regular of customers with 250 HP. Which kids do a dish delicious stew with no bitter vegetables with 150 HP? How can it be a stew without vegetables? A perfect chook full of sweets with 170 HP. I will go to Boney, but I will buy a pasta with a past. I just need the pasta with the past. This shop's filled to the brim with pretty girls. I know I don't look like it, but I'm a robot, honestly now. <laughs> okay, this is where we can go up. Porky Amusement Park. Oh, you're always such a kid at heart. Hey, Paul, it says there's a new Zoom Park this way. Let's go have a look. It probably will be as disappointing as the rest of this town. <laughs> oh, are you? Can you play a slot machine here? Yeah? I'm a broken slot machine. But the Sanchez brothers and their friend are very cheerful trio, they will make you happy. Inside one DP, yes. Oh, we didn't win. I'm big brother Pancho. I'm Kid Brother Pincho. I'm the friend, Thomas Jefferson, of course. You would say it up there. Pokey Go Out, also known as a Pitocell. Hey, these things seem to actually be real. Everyone convinced me to come to the city, but I feel more dizzy than anything, really. Pokey Coaster. That's one small step for a man, one giant spoon for poor kind. But the coaster isn't finished. Why should anyone write this? Oh, 
Oh, you are here too, Lucas. I'd love to meet Master Porky someday. He's a person who built the city. This city has a real kitty vibe to it. Did you all notice? Yes. Porky Cup, say, is your life spinning out of control? Porky, we are kissing aloud. I hear that you say good stuff about me like that I'm a drunk and that I'm a boo sound. What are you talking about? Hick, 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 hick. I'm just a middle aged guy with hiccups. I often get hiccups like that too. I haven't gone on a date with Matt in such a long time. This really brings back memories. <laughs> okay. There's a porky building. There's a winding machine here. Would you like to use it? Yep. Can we buy it? A stick that invokes tense emotions. Often 75. Yeah, I'm getting this. Expensive clothes for Komatova. Okay, good shoes for Buster. Okay. Do I have enough money? Yeah, probably need to get some more. And let's get a kite bandana first because Buster doesn't have a new head yet. Okay, Lucas is getting a happy charm. Komatoa is getting a happy charm. And Duster is getting a happy charm. Can we get a Scorpio bracelet? One of some. Let's get Lucas one first. Yeah, and now we have to get some money. But there are fox everywhere, we'll probably find a fox soon. If I were to say, compare my life to a story, I'd say we're at the start of the 15th chapter out of 16 total. Uh, you think your life will end at the next chapter? I'll go with Abbott wherever he goes. Even if the world was a four chapter story, I'd spend all four of those chapters with him. This was kinda cute. There, yeah, there's a frog right there. Oh, do you need something? Yes, we got from the last frog and BP, please. Let's get the rest of the Scorpio bracelets. You are getting on one too. Mm, wait. Oh, I didn't get one for Lucas not yet. Okay, now we have everything. Oh, it takes a person who spent all four chapters with. I guess I'm spending them with my husband because, well, we had a lot of chapters and I'm at a really difficult one. I'm still with them. But Panda, I would also spend those four chapters with you. And you know this. Oh, I want to step this up. No, 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 I did it wrong. No, not everything. I keep a thousand. Wait, did I do this right now? No, I didn't. Thank you. Now be safe. Okay, I will continue this in a minute because I have to use the bathroom, so see you in a minute.
just walked past my husband's room and looked at his screen and he was playing a game and there was a lot of white and it looked really creepy and then I noticed he was playing Subnautica and was inside the wet grass. Do I look like a hermit crab? Oh, Lucas, we were just practicing our comedy routine. Everyone's here nowadays, so this is where you can see all your old friends again. But do you suppose the force and testimony and all those other places are empty now? I wonder what's going to happen to some. Well, there will probably be a lot of animals then. Let's see, is there something else but the pokey station? Nope. Well, let's visit the pokey building. This is the Empire Pokey Building headquarters for the Pokey Corporation. So you are the ones who... <laughs> no, 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 it's nothing at all. Never mind me. Smile, smile. This is not suspicious at all. This is the Empire Pokey Building headquarters for the Pokey Corporation. Don't you dare touch it with your filthy sticky fingers if you're so kind. This is too suspicious. I will go to the sewers first. Also, that might be some optional stuff. Uh, I think I am one, yeah. I need to go to the theater. Maybe we can watch the Rustle movie, which seems like a better use of our time. Instead of like wandering around this town that is an absolute mess. Even though I like the purpose if we mix the place here. Okay, so let's see if we can go in here. Can we? The hole in the speaker seems to lead into the sewers. Goes to it? Yes. It would be a bit difficult for people to fix through this. Oh, okay. I guess we don't go to the sewers. Then the pocket building is our last option. Even so, it reeks like a trap. I guess I have to walk into the very obvious trap. Ah, with your game logic, when you smell the traps for mile away, for miles away, but you still have to walk into it to get the plot going. Welcome! This is the Empire Porky building, home of the Great Master Porky. Yeah, a mole cricket? We may be tiny, but we are still living beings. We eke out of our lives as mole crickets. The more crickets have finally started to make their ways into the big city. We have all sorts of wonderful goods that we found lying on the I mean stocked up on. At least the test trap smells better than the sewer, at least, yeah. At low no prices that no one can compete with even. Would you like to take a look? Yes, what do you have? Well, chicken. Oh, it's all low and fat. My husband would like that. Offense way. It seems completely obsolete because I have all this powerful spy now. <laughs> If you happen to see any of my fellow mole crickets anywhere, give them my regards. Twinkle! Oh, even you round up coming here? Please don't cause us any more trouble. So you finally came too, Lucas? Is Flynn still out looking for his missing son? If Oakley had come to me for serious help, we might have been able to find him. He's an awkward fellow, that father of yours. I mean, we didn't really come because we wanted to. I think we are completely healed, but let's go for us anyway because we have to walk out the fields of the city. The existence of hot spring in here means that probably will be either enemies or boss battle. What are your bets? Place your bets now. Let me go through. Has anyone ever seen Master Porky before? How old do you think he is? He must be amazing to build a city like this. I mean, he still feels like he's 13. Hi there, I'm the friendly item deposit guy. Do I have anything? No, oh, I have a beef jerky left, but I don't really need anything of this anymore. Oh no, I didn't want to do this. That'd be sucked. Gods are watching over you guys. You are incredible. You are amazing. Seriously, you're really inspiration. We are right behind you, supporting you 100% from the sidelines. 
That statue of Master Porky looks a lot like a kid, don't you think? What do you think's up with that? So, with repairs in progress. So, we can't even go here? And where do we have to go? It's not everywhere in the city. Did I overlook something? Or oh, some flag did now happen. Oh, I truly don't see anything where I haven't been. Maybe you still have to go to the sewers? I don't really know. Oh. Let's look around. Maybe there's a new flag somewhere. Although did I talk to you? Yeah, I did. I did talk to Betsy. Let's look at the map. Yeah, there's nothing else. Maybe we have to fight the Pokey statue or something? Because it was like there's a fight. happening. I am now confused because I don't really know how to flex the story and where do I have to go next. And I thought there would be something in the portal building or was there something that I overlooked. Let's go back to the building and find out. There are only the two doors, and the white leads to the hot spring. Yep. And then it says there are repairs in progress. So there must be something in the town that we have to flex that didn't happen yet. But where could I go? I kinda don't have any idea. Talk to everyone? Anything in the amusement park, and I won't write the roller coaster that isn't even finished. I pay to see skies. This is a problem when you don't remember stuff anymore. This is where the rest of the world was, where I bought the pasta with the past. Okay, I'm just looking around until I find something and I hope I find something where I have to look up where to go next. These are the sewers, right? The candles are some from here. Everything seems to hint that we actually should go into the cinema and go into the sewers. Can I look at this? Nope. Maybe I should go back to the cinema, maybe there's something there now. After I was in the Porky building. But first I wanna go back to the landing place and see if there's something. Nope. Also I don't think I have like an item that I can use. Well, let's look at our... Let's see. This is all stuff for Duster. Still have the egg flight with us. Oh, we can actually look at the battle memory. Interesting. <laughs> I didn't even know. <laughs> when therefore, even when flat broke and stepped on the Zimbabwe box, all was optimistic. I mean, you can Google and tell me where to go, but I want to see if I find something else. I even can first start and try the battle again. <laughs> These are all maps. Nope, I don't have anything. I will try the theater again. I talk to his grandma. My granddaughter is always. Thank you, Stack, for coming. I hope I see you the next weekend. Good luck with your stuff that you have to do. My granddaughter is always by my side. I'm so thankful. 
I love her more than my daughter. Grandma didn't really want to leave Tesmoli, but everyone else left to come here, so... Okay, this was a researcher. for people to fix Jesus. Things happening here. Okay, yeah, I'm on the end of my rope. I have no idea where to go or what to do or how do I flex the next event. Did they overlook something? And if you feel like it, you can google it and give me a hint where to go. I look it up myself. Can I talk to you? Yep. Is there really nothing else that I can do or explore? I can't go behind the fakes. Kind of the feeling we have to go into the building and then something would happen. I really hope the game is not glitched or something. <laughs> yeah, we know this. Maybe we have to wait? No? Check the seats again! Uh, the seats, well, which seats? The one in the cinema? Because I don't think I have checked the seats in the cinema. I'm wrong, right? So, thank you, I will check the seats. But why am I so tired? I... I mean, I got up early today, but I shouldn't be tired already. I think I have to get a new... This weird stinks. This weird doesn't stink too much, okay? Jesus. This weird doesn't stink at all. I have to find the one that's stinking. This is where we really stinks are. Ah. This is how we find the stink bug. Oh, boy. It's chasing it. <laughs> Inside, yes. Hmm. Ah, sorry, I have something with my nose. Oh, come on. Okay, I got it out. Okay, Bonnie, are you coming back, please? Go to the sewers, don't you? What weirdos. Anyway, you can't get into there. Hmm, where was it again? I seem to recall there being an entrance somewhere, but it was someplace stupid, and that... That there was a ladder going down. And that I used to work part-time there a long time ago. God, I can't remember. Stinkbug, yes, I want earlier. Where could it have gone? Some people say that if you take a big whiff of a stinkbug smell, your memory will improve. If that's true, I sniff one without a second thought. Hmm. 
Oh wait, she said something good. Your leader's being held in the empty apartments, but you gotta go through the sewers to get there. As the name suggests, the place is empty, no one lives there at all. It's no breeding ground for violent attack vultures, stink bug rats and stuff. So you probably find your way there by following a stink bug or something. Only problem is they smell really really nasty, I'm talking major stinker cheer. Okay, uh, where could be a ladder that leads down? In a place where she used to work part time? Maybe the arcade? No, in the arcade there isn't a ladder. I've been hearing a dog whimpering for a while. I think it's somewhere right below us. I can't go check it out though. The reason being that I'm afraid of dogs, seriously, their noses are wet, their wags their tails, they lick people's faces. Well, I totally can't handle that. So could you go look for the dog instead? Yes. Really? You must like dogs, son. So you go look for me? Okay, I open this heavy cover. Oh, you are right. I'm putting myself at major risk, so... Okay, I open the sewer entrance for you. Here goes nothing. Yeah, but thank you for telling me to check the seats because I totally wouldn't have gotten this. Now the more cricket. Huh? I hear Pony. But I'm reminded of the sewers in. That's Pony barking. He must be nearby. What of the sewers in Earthbound. We snuck up on a metal attack roach. Well, it's metal. I will try to see if fire is working. No, it's not fire. Then let's try these. Metal attack watch the tick combo. Oh gee, but not so bad. Okay, I think fire is just not the way to go with a metal attack roach. Lots of magic defense. Oh, this is where you go. No, I don't have a map of this place. But I'm reminded of the smelly ghosts. Oh my god, it's the same enemy! It's the same enemy, the exact same enemy. I think that one had... Yeah. Until I catch Roach, but the drink from Chart. Lucas dodged quickly. Okay, this was doing some nice damage on the stupid Bodie Man. And. God, we are not poisoned. I was warned. But I think Roach did the Kumo attack. God, you have a lot of HP. Okay. I think you will try to just hit some. Oh, <laughs> you don't even know what this attack does because you are starting all the time. Level up for Komatoa. And for Duster. And Boni is being behind. Because he's not with us now. There's a perfect moldy man, yes, this is like exact same enemy as in her spot. Did you stop poisoning us with your mold? Oh god, now he has his museums. Well, no problem, we just heal. We just heal. Healing Alpha is enough. Oh, the one life are better than Komatoa. Ah, this is where we can go. Oh, Panda, I think you're the last one who's still watching. Everyone else had to leave. Now it's only us two and maybe some lurkers. There's never a dark hole appears to lead into the movie theater. Try going through it. It would be a bit difficult for people to fit through. Yeah, I wanted to just see this again. What, this is a bathroom or... Are these enemies or treasure or trash? Ta-da! Inside the trash can there was some magic pudding. Nice! There's a trash can here. Look inside it. Yes. Ta-da! Inside the trash can there was a saltwater gun. Oh, this is for Boney. 
Oh wait, Boney is not with us right now. And this was an enemy. I was kinda sinking. There was an enemy. Thank you for keeping me from me. I know people have stuff to do and sometimes you just can't hang out all the time. But I will still stream and put that up. Even if you are my only watcher. Although I used to stream without anyone watching because I just wanted to get the game done and putting on it my YouTube and I think once or twice I got a watcher but although I did this game each Thursday from like 3 p.m. to 5 p.m. so of course nobody would watch because they were all busy. No name for spring. What actually? Why is everything so purple? Yeah, we are just a bit new. Wait, isn't Komoto having over 200 pp yet? Yeah, not the best time, but like I said, I was just wanted to get the game done. She's having... wait. Wait, didn't the hot the hot spring didn't seem to have to do anything? Wow. I guess it was a no-name hot spring. Oh, wasn't I in it for long enough? I know. Wait, I wanna try this out now. Oh, it worked. I think I just wasn't in the hot spring for long enough. Whoops. Wait, maybe, maybe lightning works. Let's try to get thunder. Metal tech world did a combo with that. And oh, this is normally is solidifying. Just like I can move no. Oh, yeah. This works. But it's so unreliable, I don't really like using PK Sonda. Normally it's better when there are a lot of enemies. Yeah, we are getting the rest will be bashed down. I know he does the aspect, now we can kick him. Whoa! This was a heavy attack. I still can hear Bony barking, where is he? I totally will do some PK fire. Oh my god, the deal was some, uh, gamma. Oh, this is freeze. The attack is too bad. I don't like it. I will choose a status effect. Maybe I shouldn't use too much uh, because I don't know if there's a boss on here. Oh yeah, it's the best combo we just burn it all down. Level up for Lucas. When does he learn the life up on everyone? Come on, Turbo's fever went away. Oh, PK Fire Omega. Also, there's an old cricket. Maybe tiny, but we are still living beings. We get our lives as small crickets. Okay, this is just. Oh no, it's new. The roots of our business are beginning to take hold toward all corners of the below. We have all sorts of wonderful good synthesis. But see, this is just to stock up if we are out of healing items. I still have a lot of stuff. Fulfilling the customer's needs is what business is all about. Twinkle! Mm -hmm. I have to go 
Yeah, I guess Pony is somewhere here. The door won't open and there's no one inside. The door won't open and there's no one's inside. No problem here. Yeah. Okay. Getting closer. But there were some stairs, right? I wanted to check them out. Oh, I don't really know where to go. But I saw the long guy from Testimony, so I'm gonna talk to him. Pulling this rope would probably be extremely dangerous. Yeah, let's save, please. And regards from the last walk. I think we have to go up the stairs. What's inside? Yeah. Oh, there's Bony. Hello, Bony. Oof, oof. I chased after a strange smelling spark and somehow wound up here. And he joined our party. Oof. But never mind that the look what's in this next room. First, you are getting the salt water, Gamboni. But Bonnie's inventory is full. Oh. Yeah, I guess Komotoa is keeping the salt water gun. Hello. It's me, Leda, the bell ringer. Must be a real shock to hear me speaking for once, it is. It wasn't that I couldn't talk all this time, I simply chose not to. As I rang that crossroad bell deep inside my heart, I had decided I would speak to no one. But the secrets I've been guarding are now starting to leak out. Lucas, the time has come to tell you everything. What I'm about to tell you, you might not want to know. Even so, you absolutely must hear it. It will be a long story, but please listen to it all. Yes, okay. Given who you are and how you've lived, what I have to say will tear at your hearts. And there's just so much to tell. So I've decided to have the stink bug trembling behind me, memorize, memorize everything I say. Ready, Mr. Stinkbug? Ago, there existed a world, a world different from what the people on these islands think of. This world was incredibly big. More people lived on this world than there are grains of sand on these nowhere islands. I know it may be hard to imagine, but such a world once existed. Understand? Yes. At some point, the world wound up destroyed. Naturally, it was humans who destroyed it. In the back of their minds, everyone had an inkling that it would happen at some point. And then it really did happen. And so, the world is no more. Everything so far has been about the end of the world. Did you understand all of it? Why do you keep asking? Just before the end of the world, a white ship came to these islands. On it were all the people of Tasmali village. Yes. Aboard the white ship where those few had managed to escape the world. The people on the ship still went on the name by the previous world. This white ship plan had been set in place before the world was destroyed. And also, they are part of the world, these nowhere islands are a special place. They were the one place that would remain, even if the world was lost. The one and only place where people could survive. And so the white ship arrived at these islands. Everything so far has been about the white ship. Did you understand all of it? Yes. Have you committed everything so far to memory, Mr. Stinkbug? The reason these islands are special is because they harbor a giant dragon nearly as large as the islands themselves. Long, long ago, people lived together with a dragon. However, at some point in time, the 
people and the dragon could no longer coexist. So, using the seven needles, the dragon was placed into a long, long sleep by the ancestors of the Megipsi people who have lived here since ancient times. Ever since, the Megipsis have guarded the needles and the fought to prevent the dragon from being woken until its power is truly needed. Thus, until the time of its awakening, the dragon continued to sleep as the power of the earth itself. And so, because of the tremendous energy of the dragon hidden deep below, these islands were protracted from the end of the world. Everything so far has been about the dragon and the Megipsis. Did you understand all of it? Yes. So, so came here aboard the white ship, feared another end of the world more than anything else. They felt that the world's destruction was a direct result of the way they had lived. The people of the white ship discussed things at great lengths. They shared their wisdom and spoke with grave seriousness. And then they arrived at their conclusion. They decided to completely erase everyone's memories of the previous world and start their lives over with new rules and new goals. Yes, in short, everyone would play out the ideal story that they had come up with. So that is what happened. The people would restart their lives in a simple, peaceful village, in the kind of place they wished they had grown up in. They would erase their memory of everything, the world, their belongings, their rules, and then they would begin their new lives. Everyone's old memories would be restarted and replaced with their newly created story, and thus the village of Tasmali came to be. However, it was necessary to record the fact that the memory replacement had taken place. The hummingbird egg was a device used to store the memories of the white ship people. Wes and the sun duster, both playing the roles of thieves, were set to take action should a dangerous situation occur. Remember when they went to Ozohe Castle? They went there to retrieve the secret of the people of the white ship. And there's one other thing, me. It was essential that one person retain memory of the previous world to sort of keep watch over things. I was the only one in the village of Tesfali who wasn't given a role in the new story. The sound of my bell served as a suggestion to keep everyone's fabricated memories from reverting. My name, Leda, comes from the word leader. No, no, that doesn't mean I was anyone special. It was just that I was particularly taller than all the others. So upon discussion, I was selected because it would be easier for me to stand out. Being so tall, people would, would, would want to come see me, you know? And so I was given the role of revealing these secrets when the time truly really called for it. Everything so far has been about those who lost everything. This is so much text, I need to bring something. Although, scarce commentary on the state of the world, all one specialty. Yes, yes, totally. Although Tasmili Village exists in reality, it was originally created as part of a story. I know this may be difficult to believe, but do you understand so far? Yes. Let me also talk about Ozora Castle. Apparently, long ago, a kingdom existed on this island centered around the king of Ozora. However, when we arrived on the white ship, the people of this kingdom were gone. It seems they had left the island, fearing the dragon's eventual awakening someday. Before boarding the white ship, Princess Komotowa was an infant who had lost her mother and father. Upon coming to these islands, she was given to the Megipsis to raise, and given the role of Princess of Ozora Castle. West and Duster being her retainers was another part of the fabricated story. Ozora Castle is one of the few and precious relics of these islands past. We crafted our story in haste, so the people inside it have very little past or history. Have you noticed no one in Tesmoli can talk about things from hundred or thousand years ago? In truth, we had wanted to create an entire plethora of myths and legends. But our story was made in such a hurry that we weren't able to, it's a real shame. I'm sure that much of what I'm saying you'd rather not hear, but it's the truth. Have you listened to everything so far? Oh, Clara is here. Yes. Have you committed everything so far to memory, Mr. Stinkbug? Truthfully, we had no idea how Tasmali Village would turn out, but things actually went rather well. The people who had arrived on the white ship had fully taken to their new identity, so we were the yawning. They believed they had always lived together peacefully. 
It was when a person by the name of Porky stumbled upon these islands that everything started to go amok. It seems he used a time distorter machine to travel to time and space at will. However, he was apparently shut out from all other times and spaces and tumbled into this era and these islands. Even worse, he used his time distorter to bring many people from other eras here. The pig marks, as well as everyone in Newport City, were all brought here and brainwashed by Porky. This Porky fellow seems to view these islands as his own personal toy box, with which he can do anything he wants. He would take animals apart and recombine them to make creepy new chimeras. As a childlike dictator, he began doing whatever he pleased including building a thunder tower and forming his own army. Porky eventually learned the white ship secret because of, of a traitor among the Megipsies. There's a traitor among the Megipsies, this must be the seventh word, missing one. Locria was her name, right? Do you understand about the intruder known as Porky? It's such a lore dump. This traitor was Locria, the seventh Megipsie and the only one you haven't met yet. After Locria joined forces with Porky, Porky learned about the white ship people and the secret of the sleeping dragon. Porky decided to pull the needles to wake the dragon so he could use the power for himself. The dragon is the power of the very earth itself, you see? It said that whoever pulls the ceiling needles will become the dragon's master. However, only a very select few are capable of pulling the dragon's needles. Apparently, neither the Megipsis nor Porky have that capability. Yet, the needles are being pulled now. That means Porky is somehow controlling someone who can control the dragon's powers. <sighs> Sorry, why am I so tired? That's why look, we are moving towards her needle felt like disturbance to Ionia. Yes. We still don't know who Locria is, but it must be someone who works for Porky. We have to put a stop to Porky's antics. If we don't, the world will be completely destroyed again, and it will spell the true end for everything. For Clara. For Porky, that might be the ultimate pleasure, but we can't allow it to happen. We, the last handful of people there are, absolutely can't allow it to happen. Lucas, it seems you are a chosen one with the ability to pull the needle sealing the dragon away. You must pull the dark dragon's needle with your own hands and pass your heart onto the dragon. Let this be my one and only order to you as your leader. Do you stunt everything about the dragon's awakening? Yes. I hear that six of the dragon's needles have already been pulled. Deep in the earth, the dragon is likely beginning to stir from its sleep now. Supposedly, the last needle is somewhere here in New Park City. Porky has been gathering everything that lives on these islands into New Park City to prepare for, for, for the final needles pulling. It's possible that he's planning to hold one final twisted party. But now is our chance to change this looming crisis into a golden opportunity. All things may come to an end. All new and bountiful things may begin. Wouldn't you like to help that happen? Lucas. You were once a weak, fragile boy, but now you've been given a tremendous role to fulfill. Now that you know everything, including everything I'm sure you'd rather not know, the time has come for you to save the future of all life as we know it. God won't make you bear more than you can carry. I'm sure you've heard that phrase before. Know that you aren't fighting alone. Everyone, and I do mean everyone, will lend you their support. That was a long story, but that is the end of everything I have to tell you. Do you understand it all? Yes. Only the McGibbses really know the needle's location, so I don't know where to find some. But from the way Porky and the others have been acting, I would say they are now very close to reaching the seventh needle. Please, Lucas, be the one who pulls the final needle. Porky issues his orders from the hundredth floor of the Empire Porky building. Start by jumping into the fray and storming the building. After that, you can start looking for clues. It's been such a long time since I've spoken to anyone, and now I'm exhausted. This thing bug should remember everything I've just said. Take him with you. That way, if you happen to forget anything I've said here, you can ask him to repeat it. Will you go with some Mr. Stink bug? Got the Stink bug's memory. 
Foggy is just okay. It's, it's the same thing. Don't worry about me if your battle goes well. I'm sure I'll reclaim my freedom just as everyone else will. Be confident in yourself and go forth. This thick book's filled with minuscule writing. This was a lot of lore dump here. Everything at once. Do I have to go back through the sugars now? Meh. There's no teleporting. The epic battle music starts. Not, but now I have to go back to the sewers. Yeah, yeah, let's just fight our way through. Oh, the Bonnie is now with us again. Hmm, I think I will leave the, leave the sewers and then go... In front of the party building and save there. And then that's enough for today, I think. Oh, come on! Everything at once! Wasn't there a hot spring? Or was, was it a little bit away? Oh, Bonnie, you gotta level up. The hot spring was here. I won't heal now. We will fight the metal roach and then we are going to the hot spring. Yeah, sorry that I don't heal your poison yet. <laughs> I meant the hot spring in the sewers. The one that I went back to because I didn't stay in it long enough. So I actually don't know how much game is left. It could be that the next uh, next session is the last, but it could also be. That we need two more sessions. Okay, are you completely healed? Yeah. Oh, Lucas has over 300 HP now. So much goop. Oh, wait, wait, I have to go here, yeah. You forgot it, but I used it twice. I hope I don't get roped into hospital again just because I want to save this frog. Yeah, you can attack me, just don't hit me with the poison stuff. Over 300! Oh god, I don't know if I can do a good Vegeta voice. Speaking of Dragon Ball, I really like the Team 4 star voices because they are trying to speak Goku a little bit more like his Japanese voice and he's sounding so cute like this. Yeah, Western piece Akira Toriyama. It's so sad to see that all these mangaka are dying because they kinda overworked themselves and it's not nice. Dasta, how could you dodge? You just got solidified, what? I come out over twice some um, thunder. But overall, oh, you are hurting a lot more of this. Oh my god, this was a lot. Yeah, I barely laughed at least.
Thinking Bro was a childhood for a lot of us and it influenced also a lot of stuff. And it was one of the first anime that I ever watched. Oh no, don't tell me that's a boss battle here. Yeah. Uh, this was facade, right? Yeah, it's facade. <laughs> that's one more and eight hairs. Oh, what is a pleasure it is to see you again. No way, long time no see, facade says. As in, <laughs> to you, for I will now give you some roughly destructive damage, he goes on to say. I have been remade into an incredibly, fiercely powerful and dangerous ultimate weapon. Therefore, we're absolutely unquestionably victorious over you. Is what Facade says. What's more, I will put an end to your tail. I will give you damage and then provide you with even more damage until you are soundly defeated. Is what Facade says. Now then, here I come. <laughs> Facade is now ready to fight. Here he comes. Yes, we have a boss fight. We would the Facade suddenly attacked. Okay, son, I'm going for defense up Omega. And you come out over, go for offense down. Who does that go for? And down and you sniff him. Boney sniffed me with the facade. But he didn't smell anything. Wow, Boney, you are getting really useless. Let's step with on a scary mask. Here we go, fuck. The friends did freeze. The friends did freeze. Free bomb, I guess Boney has no freeze. Also shield everyone. Not spy shield, I want to do just a normal shield. Shield, oh my god. Okay, come on over, you are trying some of your attacks. Let's try freeze first. Maybe just a user. No, you use a smoke bomb first. And you bony. Can we do this? Let's try to use a make to look. Now what did we work on him? as well. An off-key music attack? Get it out of the smell. Oh nice, it's a little bit Okay, I think we should heal Boni now. Better. You can get a freeze. You're using a tickle stick. Not sure if I want to, want to use one. Oh, I forgot to sell this. One of the super bombs. Oh, oh, now I have coughing. Everything fine? So Alles gut? Stuck in your throat. I think he's fine again. Okay, Lucas, what are you doing now? Don't use PK manga a lot because it's so expensive. So expensive, so he just attacks Lucas. Freeze again. We'll take the stick in the last time. And we'll attack as well. The market plan was a lot more difficult for me. Oh, yeah, it's a shield. Good that the bombs aren't getting shielded. 
only got two super bombs. Lucas and friends take spoke of some of facade horns. Facades are filled with secret. Facade is serious now. See? Oh, he's using spy shield now. This will make some spy attack vanish. Can go around this by just using a uh, spy attack that is weak. So Kumatoba can use PK Freeze Alpha. And only you are going to use the rest of your bomb. Bomb side. Oh, you can use PK Freeze. Oh my god! Oh, you are getting dangerous. Breaks. Do we have still a cup of life noodles left? Yeah, but one is first has to get hurt. Ouch! Nice. We were incredibly lucky, yeah. Nothing works with him. Oh, he must be close to dying if he is healing already. I need the spy shield is gone. Speaking of spy shield, how about we are putting one up? Okay, you are using now. Who gave you this Omega, please? You are reviving Bony. How many times do we have to teach you this lesson, old man? A lot, I have the feeling. Oh, come on! Come on! Okay, how are we? Life... No, not life up. Okay, life up. Come on, duster! The rest of you is just taking his own. Get in. Okay, we saved Duster. Bashing. Use a peek and freeze Omega. And you are using your bomb. Oh god, you can use PK Star Storm! Okay, because you can now do life upon everyone. Uh, do it. Good that I've stocked up on everyone. Yes, you solidified again. So, I had a magic pudding somewhere. Yeah, magic pudding. Open the door, please. And you also have a magic pudding, so eat it. Oh, you don't even have to eat it. He's eaten. This was kind of a hard battle, but we were incredibly lucky in some parts, really. <laughs> Got a lot of level ups. Is he still alive? Gah! Ow, ow, ow! Hmm, I will not translate this part. The reason being that these are not words but simple sounds. We have bested me, kind sirs. 
actually no, you did not best me, you are merely detestable. Thank you, Panda. I am sick of all this fighting, very extremely sick of it. This is all just game. You could call it Master Porky's game. You people are still stuck inside the game. As for me, I may have been removed from it, but I am still not sure. The flames of my life are in danger now. I do not think we will ever meet again. And not just in battle, it's what Fassad states. He also adds in a very faint noise. <laughs> Fassad is now going to plow it. Thank you, interpreter. And what are you doing now? I am an interpreter, but now that Fassad is gone, I'm no longer needed. She leaves. Please do not chase after me. Goodbye. I don't plan to chase after you. Okay, let's go save us walk right away. Well then, thanks to Fossard, we actually almost got the two hours full. So, thank you so much for watching. I hope I will see you again next week. Have a good day uh, or a good night. See you!